Kamusta kayo lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Crossover, the basketball show for the Filipino community. My name is PJ, sporting the... This is not really a basketball team. Shout out to baseball. I'm cold. It's getting cold out there. My game's still cold though on the court, you know what I'm saying? Marky Mark right here, wearing the scarf. He's not cold. You got the bicep showing. I don't understand. Why are you not wearing a sweater? Uh, I didn't feel like it. I thought the scarf was enough to warm me up. All right, sounds good. And we got our guest, familiar face, onto the show. We got friends. What's up, man? Uh, thank you, man. Always a pleasure being here. Mm, and like we were saying, we like that jacket, man. Oh, he always so has much. the nicest jacket. Everything yeah. comes here, man. Why did you choose that? I heard you had more, more teams that you could have rocked. Oh, I just wanted to rock a Jordan jacket, I guess. Mm. Championship. Old school, man. Is, he likes the old school area, man. I like that. I like it's that. It's a good jacket, too. Yeah. Guys, if you haven't followed our social media accounts, make sure you do so. We're on YouTube. Subscribe. We have videos there. We have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow us. I want to hear all your opinions. You know, check out to what we post. Let's start off the show by going to the Pinoy Crossover Showdown. This is Mark and Mark's segment that he created. So basically, me and France will go head to head and see who has the better answer. So. Let's go to the game floor. Welcome, players, to Pinoy Crossovers Showdown. It's your host today, Marky Mark, and we got Fight for Fight, standing on the left corner, weighing 200-something pounds. I'm lying. Welcome, friends. He's 200 pounds? I think so. Okay. <laughs> what's, your, what's your nickname today, friends? France from Gans. James Bond. James. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, what's, what's your NBA nickname, friends? if you got to be in the NBA? Kobe. Whoa! Kobe. This guy's love for Kobe. Kobe. On the other side of the ring, wearing nothing but pants and <laughs> sweatpants and sweater. Uh, we got PJ J. Actually, I changed that. I'll be Brian Scalabrine. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse. It's my guy. PJ the J. I like that. PJ oh, the J. Yeah? PJ with the J, right? That's how we do it, right? Let's get started right here. Pinoy Crossover yeah. Showdown. I'm going to ask you guys a question. In 3, 2, 1, I want you guys to say your answer. I'm going to pick who's got the best, whoever side they choose. All right. Question. First question. Did Kyrie make the right decision to be asked to be traded? Yes. I didn't count yet. Take the go foul. Let's go. In 3, <laughs> 2, 1. Yes. yes. All right, let's go with you. Ha. Why? Kyrie, okay. I think he made the right decision because... Do I have to look at him? Look at him. In the I face. think Kyrie made the right decision because... Look at him. He, whoa, I'm scared. He, he left Cleveland to become a better player, and that's what he became. He ended up playing defense. He's not the best defensively, but he's more active on defense. He was known to be an ISO player. But hey, we watch Kyrie now, and we say, I didn't know Kyrie could do that. He's more off ball. He's more so com he's a complete. He grew as a player. And if he stayed in the Cleveland Cavaliers, he would have still been a nicer player. And he still wouldn't be, he'd still be a shadow under LeBron. But right now, not only is he a star in Boston, but he's also a P like one of the core pieces. So I think what he did is he went to a team that really utilized his potential. He did. Your turn, Brian Scott. What do you think? Uh, in my opinion, he made the right decision because uh, right now he's the focal uh, point of uh, the Celtics. Uh, not only that, he, he left uh, Cleveland before LeBron James might leave again. Uh, and right now, um, he's living up to the hype. So, um, and he might be um, in contention for MVP. If he was still in Cleveland, he's probably behind uh, LeBron's shadow. Mm. So, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, next question. No, you gotta choose who's right. I'll give that, I'll give that a tie. Because you made you made sure that the focal point and you get make good points about the fact that he made he became a complete player going to Boston. But no one knew he, when he was gonna get traded, right? That's so true. When he landed to Boston, it was a perfect situation, right? Absolutely. Last question. Will Ben Simmons be an all-star this season? Oh. Three, two, one. No. Yes. Too late, bro. Why no? No, I like Ben Simmons, but I don't know if he's going to be an all-star. Like, I get like, ah, I have to side with my point. He's a, he's, a, he's a good player, but I feel like he's still not all around. Like, he's fun to watch, but in terms of, like, putting him in the all-star game, no, I think I want to take that back. 
He's good. <laughs> I would say yes. I don't want to see what I'm saying. Foul, come on, friends. Show right, why so, he's an all-star. Uh, he's want... being, um, he's got to be a, um, a super all-star <laughs> this uh, season. Is um, right now he's uh, he's got already multiple um, triple doubles within the season. Uh, he's contention for rookie of the year. He's um, you know uh, one two punch with uh, Embiid and Sixers. They're winning a lot of games, and um, the only thing stopping him from being an all-star is um, if one of the two uh, players. Uh, the two captains do not choose him as uh, one of the players in the oh, yeah, bench or format. the starting lineup. That's all we have. But for now, the crossover showdown. And the winner is Franz the Man. Mm. What do you guys say? Franz the Man. Um, hey, uh, it was a good match and uh, looking forward to uh, you know, more of these segments.